Welcome to our video channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more great railway videos. Selamat datang di channel video kami. Jangan lupa subscribe untuk update video-video terbaru kami. A new breed of locomotives is rolling down the railways of the world. Revolutionary technology has overcome traditional barriers to produce trains unlike any before. Super diesels pull mile-long trains. High-speed locomotives cover miles in mere seconds. And trains of the future that will travel using levitation. Each super train is a product of challenge and innovation, begun decades ago, when great steam locomotives ruled the rails. designers are developing a new form of propulsion that is a complete break from the past. Electromagnetic levitation. Friction is the chief enemy of railroad designers. No matter how sophisticated the train, steel wheels on steel rails diminishes performance. Germany is tackling the problem of rail friction by building a train that travels using levitation. Steel, track and wheels have been replaced by magnetic fields. Unburdened by friction, this floating super train can reach speeds well in excess of 300 miles per hour. This revolutionary train propulsion system is called maglev, short for magnetic levitation. It redefines the concept of train propulsion and may point the way to a future where floating trains take passengers on super high-speed journeys. Maglev technology does away with wheels, rails, traditional engines and brake systems. A typical locomotive is not even necessary. The train runs using magnetic pulses. As an electric current is supplied, Support magnets attract the vehicle from below to the guideway, while guidance magnets hold it laterally on the track. The support and guidance magnets are arranged on both sides along the entire length of the vehicle. An electric control system ensures that the vehicle levitates at a constant distance of three-eighths of an inch from the guideway. Power is supplied to the levitation system and the onboard equipment by batteries. During travel, they are charged by a network of linear generators. Propulsion and braking are accomplished through the use of a motor, not in the vehicle, but in the guideway. It functions on the same principle as a traditional rotating electric motor, but with the stator cut, unrolled, and stretched beneath the guideway. Instead of a rotating magnetic field, a traveling magnetic field is generated by the current, and the vehicle is pulled along the guideway, contact-free. To accelerate from 0 to 185 miles per hour requires less than two minutes and a distance under three miles.
floating maglev trains could reach speeds that rival passenger jets. Currently, this prototype is kept just under 300 miles per hour. Theoretically, you could go much faster with this train system, 500 or 600 kilometers or even 500 miles per hour. I wouldn't say that you could go as fast as the sound speed is because then you would produce a tremendous noise on Earth which nobody would like to have. Stopping is accomplished without brakes. Electric motors slow the traveling magnetic waves until the train stops and settles back to the guideway. A journey on a flying super train is a magnetic magic carpet ride. Smoother, quieter than conventional trains and swifter than anything on rails. The acceleration is much faster because the train is much lighter. It speeds up faster than a conventional system. And then, of course, the tremendous increase in comfort, in riding comfort, because the, the train is not touching the guideway, and this is really a flying train and a very stable condition, and this gives a very high ride comfort. The maglev has been designed to run on guideways, each section elevated as needed to avoid any dangerous crossings or geography. Power to each section is controlled at stations along the route. As a vehicle passes between two segments, the next one is automatically switched on and the previous one is switched off. More power is installed on grades and accelerated stretches than on level stretches, thereby being used only where necessary. The Transrapid Maglev system is a very safe train system. This means that uh, the train cannot uh, collide uh, because uh, only one train can be propelled by one substation. So there's always a distance of at least 30 kilometers or 20 miles between two trains. And they also cannot go in opposite direction. This just doesn't work because of the physics. And in addition to that, uh, the Transrapid Maglev train wraps around the guideway, so it just cannot derail. The Maglev changes lanes by using a bendable steel switch. It consists of a continuous steel beam elastically bent by an electromechanical drive. The train can pass through the switch in the bent position at speeds up to 125 miles per hour and in the straight position at full operating speed. The smallest train unit consists of two sections, each with 90 seats. Trains of up to 10 sections can be used depending on traffic requirements. Neither the load nor the train's length has a bearing on performance. Safe comfortable, quiet, and fast. Sounds like the ultimate super train. One thing about design of high speeds, there is limitations on how fast you can go, particularly with a steel wheel on a steel rail. There reaches a point where there almost is a lifting effect. The, the friction between the wheels and the rail diminish to the point where you can't add any more power to it without spinning the wheels. This is where the maglev systems have a much superior situation because their magnets are fixed to the ground and they're pulling the vehicle along. Floating trains could be the future of high-speed transportation. As a result of extensive testing at the Transrapid Test Facility in Emsland, Germany, the German Railway Commission has approved the maglev for commercial service.
After lagging behind in high-speed rail, America is now moving boldly forward in the development of fast super trains. At Sandia Laboratories, scientists are adapting Star Wars technology to rail transportation. The system is called Seraphim, or Segmented Rail Phase Induction Motor. Trains would be propelled through traveling currents of electromagnetic energy. Originally intended for a weapon system, Seraphim could drive trains above and beyond 300 miles per hour. The exciting frontier of supertrain research is transforming Amtrak as well. The American Flyer program is adapting TGV technology to new locomotives. The American Flyer would travel at 150 miles an hour. To run on tracks built for lower speeds, the train would lean into curves. By combining tilt technology with high-velocity propulsion, Amtrak is opening up a new vista to U.S. rail transportation. Imagine gliding through the Everglades at 200 miles per hour. It could soon be possible. A group of transportation experts and rail engineering firms is designing a high-speed rail line linking Miami, Orlando, and Tampa. Fashioned after the TGV, the Florida Overland Express would be an integrated train network dedicated to high-speed passenger service. From huffing, puffing, mighty steam engines, to brawny, computerized diesels. And wondrous floating trains of tomorrow. These super trains are unique. Each is coupled with the achievements of the past. And the dreams of the future. Super trains, light, strong and swift. Moving toward a new horizon of challenge on the railways of tomorrow.